एक मिनट जब फिर मैं ये बना रहा हूँ
last 10 minutes, which was the most exciting part of the show. Some might say this opportunistic spirit of frugalness endures amongst the most cunning of Singaporean businessmen till today. During festivals and religious events, the opera performances would be staged outdoors for all to enjoy free of charge. To your right used to be the site of Riverside Village, a plague-infested squatters' colony which housed the seedy underbelly of opium dens, brothels, and secret societies. Addicts, ladies of the night, and gangsters jostled for space in this once dangerous, mysterious place. But today, the building Riverside Court sits on the historical foundations of that notorious village. No longer dangerous and seedy, but a delightful waterfront dining oasis that boasts its very own microbrewery. Perhaps you'd like to return by foot to explore all these fun parts of the river. As you take in the sights and sounds, you'll be comfortably shaded by lush greenery and definitely tempted by the many shops and cafes along the way. Look across the river and up to your left. See the lush green hill and the large tower overlooking property of the river? That is Fort Canning Hill, where Raffles built his own bungalow, Singapore's first government house. He also planted a spice garden, Singapore's first experimental botanic garden, to cultivate commercially imported spices. The hill was later used by the British as an arms store, barracks, and hospital, which probably led to its final name, Fort Canning. But way before the British arrived on our shores, Fort Canning was the place where ancient Malayan royalty once lived and were made to rest. It was considered so sacred that it was known as Forbidden Hill. Forbidden because commoners were not allowed to visit. Of course, all that has changed and now you're most welcome to visit Fort Canning to see the old British underground bunkers and if you're really brave-hearted, explore the ancient gravestones that still remain on its shady slopes. Now here's a building that just begs for attention. See the one adorned with colorful windows on your left? Home to the Ministry of Information, Communications and the Arts, its multi-hued facade not only reflects Singapore's multicultural heritage, but also hints at the building's equally colorful past. originally known as the ancient city of Tamasic, which means sea town in Javanese. But according to legend recorded in the Malay annals, Prince Sang Nila Utama renamed it Singapura, meaning Lion City in Sanskrit, after he spotted a lion on its shores. The lion's head represents the lion spotted by 70 times. The lion sits on reclaimed land looking out to sea. She attracts millions of visitors a year to make a trip to the lion park to photograph its world-famous icon, the hero, right here in the city's marina bay. Look at the 